Alright guys, we're here on my 2007 Jeep Wrangler and it has a misfire and I'm going to show you one feature about the launch scan tool here, the CRP919BT. My, uh, my X431 has this same feature also. Um, but it, it's a feature that is very unique, I think, to these particular scan tools because my Autel nor my X tools uh, have this feature. And this is a very handy feature. Uh, to have if you're fighting a misfire and I'll show you I'll show you what this thing will do and then I'll show you what the X tool has to offer when it comes to this and you know how much I like my X tool the X tool makes a very good scan tool but this launch is uh, proving to be a very uh, very good scan tool in itself And we're just going to go here. We're just going to do a health report. Key is turned on. It's nice and fast, as you saw there. Now, you can see instantly that we've got two misfires. We've got a multiple cylinder misfire and a uh, cylinder 3 misfire. P300 and a P303. So I'm just going to go and enter into the uh, module. And the first thing I want to show you that's nice is if you go to read fault code, right there you've got freeze frame data. So I can go into DTC information, bam, right there. Uh, but if you go back, you can go into freeze frame, and you can select the freeze frame information uh, to read the freeze frame. The X tool, to get, get to the freeze frame, you've got to back out of the main screen here, and I'll show you that and go into the freeze frame data under OBD2 uh, port. So if you scroll all the way down, look at the lower left corner, you see OBD2 monitors includes misfire. So let's go into that. Now this has got a bunch of useful information. It's got pages and pages of what a lot of people would look at and think that oh, what would I ever use all that information for well let's scroll all the way to the bottom which cylinder is misfiring that's what I want to see right there now you've also got on up a little ways which I, I guess I passed it then we'll go, all, we'll go all the way to the bottom but you've got some more misfire information up here if you click the T, it brings up the whole list. And the very bottom one is which cylinder is misfiring. Uh, but the other two I was wanting to show you, actually there's three. Misfire disable monitor, misfire monitor uh, 2 over 1000, one misfire monitor, I'm not sure exactly what the SCW is, switching maybe. Uh, but if you look all the way at the bottom, you've got which cylinder is misfiring. So we're going to go all the way to the bottom. And it shows all the cylinders in real time. Uh, and you can monitor that for a misfire. So I'm going to start the engine up. And you can sit here and watch it. You can also graph it. In fact, let's... Uh, I know that it, cylinder 3 is going to misfire. And... I want to go ahead and add, because I think cylinder 5 also misfires. So let's, let's put cylinder 5, we'll put cylinder 1, and we'll put 2. I think that's all you can do is 4. And I want to go ahead and put it in gear. Now you can already see down there on cylinder 3 FTP misfire counter 24. Mis, uh, cylinder 5 is also 8. I want to put it in gear because I think it misfires a little bit more when it's in gear and kind of under a load. But you can see in real time the misfire information on all four of those cylinders. And you can graph it, which is nice. Now if you go, whoops, if you go back to just the regular list, you can sit there and watch. And I don't know, now that it's kind of warmed up a little bit, it may not do it, but because now the engine's kind of smoothed out a little bit. Okay, there's... 
their cylinder three. So let's get cylinder three and five in the same screen. I'm gonna rev it up a little bit. Let me put it back in the gear. There it goes, cylinder five. You got your misfire counter also that you can watch. But cylinder three is clearly the tr trouble child here. Uh, it's the one that's given the majority of the problem. Cylinder five is too. And they're adjacent cylinders to one another. So that's something else that I've got to uh, wonder about is if there's a relation there between three and five. But anyway, the purpose of this video is to show you how convenient this misfire monitor is on the launch scan tool. Now, let me go ahead and turn that off. Um, and you saw how nice it was to get to the freeze frame. Let me go ahead and back out of this. And then we're going to hook up the, uh, the X tool. And see how it does. And we're just going to go into system selection and we'll go straight into the uh, PCM. Not going to start the engine yet. So here's your options. First, let's go into read trouble codes. And this is what you've got for trouble codes. Now, it does tell you the trouble codes, but you can't, you can't click them or anything. You can't look at the uh, freeze frame or anything. You can do a report. Now, the little magnifying glass, if you click that, it takes you to the Internet, if you're connected to the Internet, and it'll automatically uh, enter the criteria that's needed to be able to research that particular uh, trouble code. I don't ever do that. Uh, then you got clear trouble code, live data, actuation test, read system configuration. That's all that is. System check. Now here I thought that it was going to have the misfire counters, but it does not. As you can see, there's no way to uh, to get into the misfire counters there. there it, there's no misfire information in the actuation test. Nor in special functions. So the only way I know of to, to see misfire information is to back all, all the way out of that, go into Diagnosis, go to OBD2. I always just do an auto scan. Now, right here you've got, this is where also you uh, get into your IM readiness uh, information. There's your freeze frame, so let's click that first. And there's all your freeze frame information. Now if you go into onboard monitor test mode 6, if you look right here, you've got misfire data for each cylinder. That's the closest thing you've got to what the launch had, where the, the launch listed all the cylinders and you can watch all of them in real time. Now, on the X tool, you've got to hit each one individually. Um, and you can, there's a couple different options here, and I'll show you what each one of those are. Here's the information for that first one. Then, if you misfire counts for last current drive cycle, uh, you've got that. Anyway, that's the. That's one annoying thing about the X tool. They they can do a little bit better on the misfire information and on the freeze frame. Uh, allow allow those to get uh, access to them from within the uh, main uh, menu. Whenever you're in your manufacturer specific uh, menu. Uh, now the launch is actually on sale tomorrow. It goes on sale tomorrow. So if you guys are looking to maybe you know, if you're in the market for a scan tool, uh, tomorrow, M March 12th, the launch goes on sale. I'll put a link in the description to it, um, but make sure you check that out. 
if you're wanting a uh, if you're in the market for a scan tool. Both these scan tools are competitors. Um, I've done reviews on both of them, and I'm really liking this launch. The launch has really uh, been impressing me lately. If the key programming that the X tool had was built into the launch, the launch would be my favorite scan tool. But it's hard to beat the key programming abilities of the X tool. The X tool for key programming, hands down, as far as just a standalone scan tool, you're not going to get any better. Anyway, we're done. I just wanted to show you the misfire information that the launch has um, that the X tool does not. Uh, and also, my, like I said, my X431 launch, the bigger one, it, it, it has the same misfire uh, counters. So anyway, we're done. You guys take care. We'll see you.